Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigman, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, or make the dance and skate dress of your dreams. Today, we're talking about feathers and the pros and cons of putting them on your dress so that you can decide if it's right for you. Take a look at these photos that I pulled off of my Pinterest page. Feathers are wildly popular at the moment, and not just the classic boas on the bottom of standard gowns, but also for Latin dresses, skate dresses. They're very trendy. There's turkey feathers, goose feathers, peacock feathers, coke feathers. All sorts of really um, interesting feather types are being used at the moment. Which brings me to one of the main disadvantages to having feathers on your dress is that the trends go in and out of style. So if you choose to buy or make a dress that is highly ornate with feathers, odds are good that fashion will begin going out of style in the year. And then you're going to be stuck with a dress that you either have to alter or just sell at a ridiculously reduced rate because the value of it's lower because you chose a trendy look that went whew. <laughs> um, number two disadvantage about having feathers on your dress is that you really cannot wash the dress once the feathers are on. Best case scenario, you go in and you spot clean all the sweaty bits on your bodysuit. Number three of the downside for having feathers on your dress is that it really does make traveling more difficult. It takes up a lot more room. If you have a ball gown with rows of ostrich bows on the bottom, or you have a Latin dress that has, fl not fl <laughs> you have a Latin dress that has feathers that are flat, you have to fold the Latin dress so particularly so that the peacock feathers or the coke feathers don't get crushed. Another disadvantage of having feathers on your dress is that they really do come from live animals. And for me, that is a huge deterrent. I only work with feathers upon request. I do not voluntarily put them on a dress because these feathers all come from living, breathing beings. So if you are a vegetarian or a vegan or concerned about animal welfare, you might wanna steer clear of putting feathers on your dress. Um, another downside of feathers is that they shed, <laughs> especially the ostrich boas. So um, as you are packing and things like that, you'll find them in the bottom of your garment bag, in your suitcase, in your home, on the dance floor, you know, on the ice, you know, everything. They just shed. Luckily, with a really good quality ostrich boa, you only lose these teeny little hairs. So they're not terrible, but you do want to vacuum them up quickly just so they don't go around your entire house. There is one kind of boa that I do recommend you not use. Now below this video, I have given you links for several places in the United States and in England where you can buy really high quality feathers that will not shed like this. <laughs> and this is unfortunately what a lot of people sew on their gowns if they um, make them from scratch or if they're just adding feather boas to the bottom of a hem because they don't know where to get really good quality boas. So this boa I just bought in my local fabric store and it you could use this as, as like wedding instead of throwing rice or bird seed you just pull apart a boa. <laughs> as the bride and groom walk down the aisle. And a lot of you have seen people dancing and they literally just leave a trail of these feathers behind. So avoid these. Um, I believe this is turkey feathers. And it's just a, a really chintzy kind of two-ply feather sold at a costume store or at your local fabric store. Don't buy these just because they fall apart. If you are in doubt, just stand in the store and just shake or just do just a real gentle tug. And if you lose stuff, then avoid it. Another bad thing, I've just got all sorts of bad things about feathers, don't I? But I want you to know because it is crucial for you to, to know these things in order to make a, an informed decision. Um, the other thing about feathers is that they do take, if you are revamping a dress, it is extra time and money. Or if you're you know, buying a custom dress, it's extra time and money for the materials as well as the labor to attach the feathers to the dress. 
So keep that in mind. Lastly, feathers often stain, the color fades. And so I have this piece of paper down here because I want to show you one of the great things about feathers is that you can refluff them. So if you have been storing your feathers in, pl in a plastic garment bag or they're just old, you can take a hot steam iron or you know a regular clothing steamer and shoot it with some steam. As much steam as you can get out, go for it. And I have, and then shake, <laughs> shake really hard. And then it sort of re-oxygenates them and it makes them much fluffier. Now, you don't wanna hold your iron or your steamer right on it, just enough to shoot the air over it is good. Now, I have this piece of paper underneath the feather boa because they are prone to um, fading. So I ruined, a, a little bit ago, I was filming a very in-depth version, similar to this one, but way more in-depth for the sewing school. And I ruined my ironing board because I forgot to put <laughs> down this piece of paper. And so you can see all of this nonsense on here. So my ironing board is now stained red because I steamed the feather boas demonstrating um, and forgot to put the paper down. So if you are applying boas to your dress from scratch, then by all means, steam them first with paper underneath. If your dress is already, or if your feathers are already attached to your dress and the feathers are the same color as the dress, should not be a problem because it won't show. Just steam and shake, um, like I said, to, to fluff it up. However, if you, let's say you have hot pink feathers on a white dress, then take a piece of scrap white paper or tissue paper and put it between your feathers and the dress. And that way as you're steaming, the color from the hot pink feathers does not get onto your white dress. And that is actually all of the bad things I have to say about feathers. <laughs> so one of the good things is that you can re-fluff feathers. Not all of them, the flat ones, your peacock feathers, anything that's a flat, stiff fe feather, you cannot refluff, but your ostrich boas or your marabou boas, you can refluff just like this, which is great. Um, another advantage to having ostrich or feathers on your dress is that it completely changes the look. If you have an old dress that you would like to revamp, or if you've even just worn it for three or four competitions and you want to change the look, add feathers to the hem. It makes a big difference. Adding feathers also gives you really good texture and depth, which is difficult to achieve with fabric. So that's a fun thing about feathers. Boas on ball gowns are a classic. Just to stick a nice quality ostrich bow on the bottom of a standard gown is really a very classic look. Though be warned, even that classic look goes in and out of style. And that is it for the pros on having feathers on your dress, but I have one awesome storage tip for you. When you are traveling with a dress with feathers, by all means, keep it in a plastic while you're traveling and that way it protects moisture from getting, you know, any plane, any moisture from the plane or the hotel room or whatever, the plastic helps prevent the moisture from getting onto the feathers. However, when you are storing your dress longer term at home, store it in fabric, not plastic. So wrap a big cotton sheet around it, white, or a sheet that matches your dress, or get a, um, a muslin or cotton garment bag to store it in, and that way the feathers will stay fluffy longer because they can breathe. <laughs> like a fine wine, they can breathe. And I have given you the link below to another blog where I speak specifically about, you know, how to store your gowns. And then I've also given you quite a lot of links to stores to buy good quality boas or other feather products. I hope you've received value from today's video. Please share it and tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Leave me a comment below telling me what your favorite thing about having feathers on your dress is or what your downside is. What's your biggest problem with having feathers on your dress? Lastly, if you're watching me on YouTube and you have not signed up to receive my bi-monthly blogs, please go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address, and I'll make sure you never miss one of these dancing, skating, sewing tips. 
that's it for me. I will talk to you again another time. Thank you so much.